In 2002, Philip Steen, Nicole Mitchell, and Zach Roberts were working together for a restaurant management group based in Charlotte, North Carolina. One night, the trio ventured into a what-if professional conversation that almost immediately evolved into why not. Thirteen years later, these two guys and a gal are still working together, although Philip and Nicole are now married. The three started a fledgling business called Nashville Sports Leagues that is now serving thousands of amateur Nashville athletes and changing the way that people live and play in the Music City. We must have been having a beer or something one day, and to the three of us together, and they're like, what do we do next? And so Nicole and I are like, well, we can start a sport and social club. Come on, just like that? Really just like that. Had you had the conversation before? Never. Nicole and I knew what it was. How? Great question. Back in the day, Sport and Social Club was owned by a company out of Chicago. They were approximately a $12 million business with Sport and Social Clubs in various markets. Right? So you were, you were aware, like this concept was already there. The concept of it was in 24 markets, not Nashville. Okay, but were those were those markets still functioning when you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nicole was doing parties for the Baltimore Sport and Social Club at Have a Nice Day Cafe. We, before I moved out of Cincinnati, were doing ginormous seven, eight hundred people happy hours at Have a Nice Day Cafe for Cincinnati Sport and Social Club. So we knew what it was. We Not knew they were playing sports. We knew there was a social aspect to it, right? And we were like, well, shoot, we know enough people that we can do it. So we're like, all right, you two are going to do it, and I'm going to keep working for Bar Management Group. This is like February of 02. But we got Nicole a job at Mellow Mushroom, which was brand new to town, so that's how she made Restaurant. her. Restaurant? Yeah, pizza place. Amazing pizza um, place. She worked there for 11 years. She was the bartender, so it was awesome. Helped us out a lot. In my mind, I think Sport and Social League, there has to be a spot to be able to gather. So you ready? Yeah. In April, we said we pulled the trigger. The business was licensed in April. And we said, when do we want to do our first league? And we're like, ah, well, well let's do it in September. That's the fall. We'll do flag football. Really? You didn't want to cash in on summer leagues? Didn't, didn't. Didn't think about it. Okay. So what our plan was, well, how are we going to get these teams? So we went straight to the Mellow Mushroom and said, can we have a happy hour here? We'll promote it. We'll, do, we'll go out and hand out flyers. We'll, do all, we'll use as many of the contacts as we can. So from April until September, we had happy hours all over the city. We joined the Visitors Convention Bureau, we joined the Chamber, like we did all of this stuff. And we mustered out seven men's teams and six co-ed flag football teams, 10 on each team. So 140 people that we had at that first league. The number is interesting because fall of 2015. 12 years later. We had 400 and 12 teams. Teams? Yeah. This season we just did, we had 398 teams. And what did you do in those ensuing 12 years? We just kept adding leagues and getting park space. Was it only football in the beginning? Oh, no. The second season, which was winter, was indoor volleyball, basketball, and soccer. And bowling. We had four sports. And this is adults only? This is only adults. You have to be 21 to play in the leagues. When it started, what were the basic rules? We would, we would take them from websites. Like we would go look at our peers and we would look at their rules and we would take what we thought because we didn't, that's where we, that's where we didn't have any knowledge. Stretch. We could write a schedule. That's not hard. Like the rule portion of it was all from scratch. Like what mistakes did you make? Every single freaking one. <laughs> but the that? one thing that I think we did was we listened to put to people, you know, like we listened to the players in the beginning. And we're so much better at it now, even listening more to players, but... Did you have more men than women, more women than men? Did it It's always been the same. It's always been 55 to 58 men percent. Wow. Yeah, it's a, because it's the, just the, gen, it's the way sports are. You yeah, know, but like, I'm surprised. Like, that's a, I thought it might be higher. I thought it might be more like 60-40. I completely women. agree with you, but... I think that's every, a nice number. All of, the, all of the data that we get back is, has never has not moved very far from that. That's cool. Nashville must be an active city for women. 
You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah, at 100, you're correct 100%. It's active for women, no doubt. Over the course of two-ish years, we got to a cycle where every sport could run every single season. If you had enough people. If we had enough people, we would, yeah, we would Except do Except football couldn't, unless you played indoors. We play, but now we play football all year round now. We play flag football. Outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't get snow though, that's why. We do, we'll get, like, I think, I don't, I don't, maybe we might get three inches. Wintertime we go to Sundays. In the early days when we were trying, when we first wanted to sell Sunday flag football, I needed data to be able to communicate why you should play. If you had an interest and you were on the ledge, and all of the time the ledge was it's too cold, where well, I didn't believe it, right? So I pulled data. I'm like, the average temperature during our flag football season is 55 degrees. We use that information to talk to people. And Nicole would work when she could during the day on Nashville Sports Leagues. So she was the fun social side of the business. Right. She, she, Zach would focus on getting teams. And so when does it start to become apparent that it's, it'll be a business? Like, this could go, this could pay us. Probably 05-ish, 06. That's not bad. Three to four years. So we went from thirteen to one fifteen in the second year. Yeah, I have a. We track it every year. We would double and then we would stay like two times. We were flat, like one team more, and then it was fun because it went from two. It went from two two thirty two ish to like four fifty, and then it went to six fifty. Then the next year was seven hundred, and then it went to eight hundred. Then it went to nine hundred, and then it went to twelve hundred. Where are you now? Well. 1,400 teams we'll do this year. And that's still, are you six people on a team? Well, everything's different. So it's from two people to Every 18. sport, you've got a lot of yeah. different sports. Yeah. The, dyna the structure of the sports. So when you say you listened to the people who were participating, yeah. was there feedback on every edge of the spectrum? Was it about the kind of sports, how, where you played them, what the rules were, or were, were there specific things? If you allow people to tell you what they think about it, they're gonna tell you everything. And so how did you allow them? Regardless of whether them? you like it or not. Ask how? them, simply ask them. At the events or through Facebook? Through email, through, at that, still today. Now it's certain, again, we're, we're so far advanced now, but in the beginning it was just sending out emails. Right. Like, do you, do you like this? Do you not like this? What do you wanna do? You know, when people would write us an email about poor performance, poor referee, whatever it is that we were missing out on for their experience, mm -hmm. we would just read it and we'd talk about it. Like, we would say, well, are they right or are they wrong? Like, did we screw it up? Like, if we did, we just own it. And do you change? Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. We believe fairly early, I think, and it's helped us, is that the leagues are not about us. The leagues are about the participant. I say this all the time. The participant has hired us to run their league. I think it's very true.